Hi folks, I'm Jared Bentley. You're watching the Johnson City Press Week in Review right here on johnsoncitypress.com. Federal authorities have detained a person in connection with the mail bomb scare that widened to 12 suspicious packages containing crude pipe bombs all sent to public figures who have criticized Donald Trump or worked against his political agenda. The devices have targeted well-known Democrats including former President Barack Obama, former Vice President Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton and former Attorney General Eric Holder. Earlier Friday, authorities intercepted packages addressed to New Jersey Senator Cory Booker and former National Intelligence Director James Clapper. The discoveries, 12 so far, had officials scrambling to locate a culprit and a possible motive, so they naturally started looking in Florida. More specifically, a postal facility in Opelika, Florida, where they believe some packages originated. That information led to the arrest of 56-year-old Caesar Sayoc of Aventura, Florida. Sayoc is an ardent supporter of Trump and his van, covered in pro-Trump, anti-Democrat images, was seized by officials this morning. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced earlier the Justice Department was dedicating every available resource to the investigation, saying, we will find the person or persons responsible, we will bring them to justice. President Trump, on the other hand, complained that this bomb stuff was taking attention away from the upcoming election and said critics were wrongly blaming him and his heated rhetoric. He says he has no plans to contact anyone on the list of bomb recipients. A man accused of robbing the Pinecrest branch of the Carter County Bank is in custody today and being charged with armed robbery. 59-year-old Jerry Bowman of Johnson City was arrested several hours after the robbery after a Johnson City police officer stopped a Ford Fusion similar in appearance to the one described in a press release and a subsequent search turned up a $20 bill in Bowman's wallet that matched one taken during the robbery. After a search of his home turned up the gun used during the crime, he apparently admitted to committing the crime. 21-year-old Jordan Robert Reese was arraigned on Monday after authorities arrested him Friday night for allegedly holding 10 people, including five children, at a home in Siam at gunpoint. Two women contacted officers at 1 p.m. claiming they had managed to slip away from the house when Reese fell asleep after holding them against their will since around 12.30 a.m. When deputies arrived at the residence, they knocked on the door and told the hostages to come outside. The officers then went inside and reported finding Reese in bed with a woman where he was taken into custody. To end things on a good note today, I'll leave you with photos of students at Lake Ridge Elementary School who this week decorated pumpkins to look like their favorite book characters. Kingsley Broll chose the night before Christmas, Sophia Widga went with the Keeper of the Lost Cities, and Bryson Phillips created Dragon Masters. Chloe Mould made a big Junie B. Jones figure, Garnet Preston chose Percy Jackson, and brother and sister duo Alexander and Isabella Witten created Gerald and Piggy Pumpkins from the Elephant and Piggy book series. Some great inspiration from these young folks for people who are still looking for their pumpkin decorating ideas for the holidays. It is a holiday weekend. We're coming up on Halloween, so get out this weekend and have fun. Whatever you do, remember to stay safe, be kind to your neighbor, and we'll see you next week right here on the Johnson City Press Week in Review. I'm Jared Bentley. Thanks for watching.